So let's start off by making a little drum kit. You can obviously experiment by rotating the body. And of course we can get some like conga or bongo sounds. All right, so I've chopped up the drum samples and I've loaded them into drum rack. So this is the little drum kit I have now. Sample this kick I can pitch down, pitch up the snare. Maybe we can pitch this one up, the shaker. And to spice it up a little bit, we can add a drum bus plugin. All right, let's just add a simple guitar part. Add another part. All right, to turn this into a bass, I'm just gonna play like as if I was playing a bass and then we're gonna pitch it down an octave. And now we're just gonna detune it by minus 12 semitones or an octave. So let's listen. So it's a little rattly still. So what I'm gonna do is add a filter here. Maybe bump the drive. All right, next let's make a pad sound using the guitar. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sample one note and then we're gonna use a sampler to create that pad sound. So what I'm gonna do here is create a MIDI track and I'm gonna load the simpler instrument. I'm just gonna drag that audio I recorded and now ready we can play this on the keyboard. And then you can set it to loop towards the end. So now we can use these synthesis controls here to shape this more into a pad sound. So typically a pad sound has a slow attack, so let's bring that up. And a slow release as well. And then in the controls, we can add a low pass filter. And what's really gonna sell it is adding some reverb. So I have the Valhalla room loaded. And just like that, we started with a single guitar string and we turned it into a pad sound like this. All right, so let's add that to our track. All right, I'm gonna record some strumming using the pick here. All right, I'm gonna use a similar technique to create a lead sound. So I'm just gonna sample a really high C with some vibrato. So again, I'm gonna create a new MIDI track, load an instance of Simpler, and add some extra vibrato here. We'll add some reverb and some delay. All right, I've swapped it up for a low pass filter and added some low LFO to create kind of a lo-fi warble. All right, let's try to make another melodic sound. This time I'm gonna sample a uh, harmonic. All right, this time what I've done is I've reversed the audio before I plug it in. We can even ignore that punch so we can get a nice smooth loop. Reduce the attack. Bit of low pass filter. And just like that, taking a simple harmonic, flipping it, adding some filter, we get a nice pad sound. All right, let's add that in. All right, so here's the final song, or loop, I guess, it's not really a song, with all the tracks created in some way by sampling the guitar itself.